Welcome to Sheet Metal Tech Tips. Today we will discuss the use of countersinks in sheet metal parts. In this video, we will review the two standard methods of creating countersinks in sheet metal, the two most common uses for countersinks, and the standard angles and tolerances of these countersinks. There are two methods of fabricating countersinks in sheet metal parts, forming or cutting. Forming the countersink in the metal is done by using a special tool in a punch press. As this clip shows, the countersink is pressed into the metal in a pre-pierced hole until it is coined to its desired size. Cutting the countersink in sheet metal is a more manual process and takes longer to complete. This clip shows the cutting process and how the countersink tool in a drill press or bridge port machine cuts the metal at the desired angle until the major diameter is achieved. Countersink features are typically placed in sheet metal parts which allow screws to sit flush with the metal surface and hold the metal tight to a mating part or assembly. Another common use for countersinks is for using flush rivets to assemble parts together so that the surface of the rivet is flush with the top material being assembled. The industry standard angles for countersinks are 82, 90, 100, and 120 degrees. These angles are used to accommodate the multitude of screws or rivets that could be used on an assembly. When fabricators place countersinks in sheet metal parts, the major diameter, or the surface diameter, and the angle are held to tight tolerances. The minor diameter, or through hole, can be affected by the material thickness and its geometrical restraints. Tolerances for countersinks are different for formed countersinks than cut countersinks. This is due to the effects of material composition, thickness variations on the same sheet, and variations of pressure in a punch press during the punch punching process. To recap, cutting or forming of countersinks in a sheet metal part are the two methods used in the industry. Countersinks are used in sheet metal parts most commonly for screws or rivets to sit flush with the material surface allowing for stronger assemblies. And finally, holding to common angles and tolerance expectations allows for parts to be manufactured most efficiently with minimal cost and shortened lead times. This concludes our video on countersink. For more information, please contact our design team.